Okay, happy Friday, Dan. Tell us about this van that we're in. Cool. All right, so keen eye observers would have seen that this was a van that we um, found some pretty terrible electrical work done in originally. So um, the undersea area was... Uh, it had a BM Pro system in it and the caravan manufacturer had just covered over um, the uh, conglomeration of wires in the back behind that um, with um, a seat box lid. When we removed that to uh, do our removals and upgrades and all those sorts of things, we found some pretty terrible wiring and then we also removed the fridge because we had to get some cables in behind the fridge and we found probably worse installation practices behind there as well so we've gone about fixing all of that up first of all um, but Predominantly, the reason this van came to us in the first place was because this particular client wanted um, as big an off-grid system as they could get into the space that they had. This is an 18-foot caravan, so it's limited for roof space. With 18-foot caravans, generally, we're going to be able to get up to about 1,000 watts of solar on the roof. Um, and that's what we've done with this van. We've got five 200 watt panels on the roof. Um, it had, as I say, a BM Pro system under the under the seat here, which we've completely removed. Uh, and what we've done is replaced that with um, our inner drive suite of chargers, inverter, um, full side marine system. So with this one, we've done. Um, a couple of extra bits and pieces that are done, so we've done tanks, so all three tanks are monitored through Simery, um, which you can see up here. Uh, what else, what we did as well is the BM Pro system had the Odyssey screen which has the ability to switch a couple of lights on, um, so we swapped that out for um, a remote switching system, which we um, have been able to turn lights and pump on with. Um, so outside lights, uh, internal lights, and the two pumps. It's a bit of an interesting setup with this tanking system in this caravan. It's got two pumps, which normally two pumps would be one pump for general water and one pump for drinking water, but it, it looks like the plumbing has been done with two pumps, one for each tank, which you can isolate off. So. Um, so we had to turn, we had to be able to turn both of those pumps on, the Odyssey screen, the BM Pro, you could do that. So we've done that as well. So we've got remote switching in for all of that. Um, we have a 620 amp hour battery underneath this seat. And as you can see, it is very full in there. Um, so obviously with all of our um, compliance requirements, we've got that particular battery being... Uh, fully enclosed and we vent that outside so the enclosure that the battery is in is vented outside. The battery is a LifeTech battery so it comes fully sealed with the ability to have a bat we are sorry with a, the ability to have a vent hose attached to that. We've got battery isolation fusing and um, circuit breaker fusing circuit breaker isolation over that side of the seat box and all of our charges, DC DC monitoring, as you can see over the back here, we've got some um, two by 12 way fuse blocks, which were um, installed to replace the BM Pro. Um, so the BM Pro has part of what it does is it's um, an, a distribution hub. So we had to replace all of that. Um, as you can see, we've got our controls in the overhead cupboard. Nice and easy to use for the client, so they can turn their inverter on and off up here. Um, and you can obviously see your um, Simarine system in the overhead cupboard as well. We actually do have the air conditioner running off inverter at the moment. Um, so this is a Gree 
Um, it is actually an inverter style or a soft start style air conditioner. We have uh, obviously got our inverter charger up here, so when they're plugged into mains, they can um, they can get 100 amps of charge plus whatever solar they got coming in at the time. A couple of extras that we've done for these guys as well. Um, we have up here, you can see um, we've got our Cowfish Cosmo. These guys actually have um, Starlink. So they've got Gen 3 Starlink. So we've in integrated that into the overhead cupboard. So they've basically got a pass-through on the back of the fridge cavity, which they can then plug their um, router into uh, the RJ45 that comes up through here, and this is a 12 to 48 volt converter, essentially. Um, so we've installed that for these guys, nice and easy to use. Um, we've also got Y-Tie installed in this van. Um, so Y-Tie anti-theft. Um, so we installed that for them as well. And the other thing that we did was that they wanted some um, bug lights outside. So we swapped all of their external lighting out for dual color lighting on the outside of the van. Um, so they definitely will be able to see at night time with those lights that are out there now. So yeah, it's, this, was a, this was a massive build. Um, we've, we've effectively gutted the whole electrical system in this van and completely redone it. Um. One of the biggest issues that I find with caravans is that you have zero information from the manufacturer about what circuits do, what, where they go, how they're, you know, how they're set out. Um, so everything that we do is always labelled. I always ensure that our, um, our fusing, our distribution points, all that sort of stuff is labelled so that people know exactly what things do. Um, you know, obviously we've got lots of detail here with your Symarine system, obviously with the tanks, they're all labelled and calibrated. Um, so, yeah, that, that obviously is part and parcel of the deal. But, yes, this was a, this was a massive build. Um, Starlink, wire tie, battery, solar, lights, you know, everything. External much. solar. External solar, yeah. So we can plug in up to 600 watts of solar. So as I said at the beginning, this one, because it's only a 18 foot caravan, we could only get a thousand watts of solar with everything that was going on on the roof. Um, but they've got the ability to plug in portables and they, they do take portables with them. So they have the option of doing that as well. This air conditioner is fairly efficient. So when they are running the air conditioner, um, it doesn't use as much as some of the other larger air conditioners and as well these guys actually have one of these Thetford combo um, cooktops built into this van so this is an induction cooker as well as some gas ability so they can run um, they can run the induction cooker in their van from the inverter as well so that's a pretty big summary of what this van has had done to it. Um, it'll be significantly more reliable than previous. Obviously, they've got a lot more functionality with this van now. Um, yeah, unfortunately, caravanning industry needs to be shaken up pretty heavily because we see a lot of this all the time in these vans. And yeah, I mean, we do our best to clean them up and make them better for, for the owners be before they leave. So. Anyway, guys, we'll uh, wrap it up there. We'll see you next time.